Hey, let's get this party started. <laughs> Hi, folks. I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Tuesday. It is June 13th. Now, besides acting silly, what do we do on this show? Well, we get real serious about finding hot penny stocks. We're looking for stocks under five bucks, doesn't matter what market they're on, that has potential to make us money. Now, when I do my research looking for these hot stocks, I'm doing it by going through the charts. I don't pay mind to the filings of the news presses till I find a chart that has heat. I'm looking for a breakout setup or a lot of volume coming in or maybe a surge that just won't quit. Then I go looking for that catalyst through the filings and the news presses or whatever. These are the sort of stocks I like to share with you every day. Did it yesterday and boy, we did it right. Yesterday, I focused in on three stocks and all three of those took gains. Then I did something unique. I shared with you nine hot charts. We didn't look at the fundamentals, the filings, the news presses, didn't even know if they had any catalysts. I just gave you the charts. And out of the nine charts I shared, six of them took gains today. So of the 12 stocks we looked at, nine of them took gains. That to me is the proof in the pudding that doing our research looking at hot charts first is the way to go. Now, I've got more to share with you today, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at three stocks, and we're going to look at nine hot charts. So let's take a real quick look at our OTC market today. It was a slow, bad day. We've had a lot of these for a very, very long time. And let's look at this a different way. Second gear. We're in first gear right now. All of these numbers are first gear. What is second gear? Dollar volume, it's like $2 billion. For share volume, we need to have 10 billion shares. And for trades, we should be up at 300,000. So that gives you an idea what sort of market we're in. All right, let's take a look at the first stock I have for you. Now, does this look familiar? It should. <laughs> I bumped it yesterday. It was the last stock I was gonna share with you, and then I changed up and I gave you Hi Hi, which was a good choice. She was a strong runner today, just like she was yesterday. Well, this was running yesterday, and it's running today, and I think there's more juice to come from this lingering catalyst. News that came out not too long ago, but not yesterday or today, but has got the stock moving. So we are looking at Cellularity Inc., ticker C-E-L-U. She finished today just a little over 80 cents and almost 12% gains. I can see numbers are changing here, so we've got some aftermarket activity. This is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. So what is this company all about? Well, they tell us here that Cellularity Inc. is headquartered in Forum Park, New Jersey. They're a biotechnology company leading the next evolution in cellular and regenerative medicine by developing allergenic, cryopreserved, off-the-shelf, placental derived cell therapies. Cellularity also develops, manufactures, and commercializes innovative biomaterial products also derived from postpartum placenta. Now, I don't know where they get this placenta, and to be completely honest, I'm not real curious. Cellularity believes that by harnessing the placenta's unique biology and ready availability, it can develop therapeutic solutions that address significant, unmet global needs for effective accessible and affordable therapies. Now they are working on a lot of different drug candidates right now and they work with this biomaterial product, bulk material. So what was the company's relative volume today? Uh, about even, not much difference. She normally has 537, today she's got 556,000. So we're doing about a half a million shares. Share structure for sell you. Outstanding share count is 180 million. I did not look this up, so I don't know what the float is. We just know it's under 180 million. Financials for the company? Well, they are making money, though it's a little up and down, going from 14 million to 21 million, back down to 17. We know it's millions, because we gotta add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. Looking at her quarterly, well, they have brought out their most recent financial. They did about $4 million, but wow, what happened? Look at this. They are down $21 million in this quarter. 
I'd have to do some more research to find out what happened there. Disclosures for the company. All right, we have an effect here, which means they're putting more shares on the market. Effect means on. That's the gun shooting off right there. We got an 8K at the end of May. Let's see what this says. Corporate presentation. If you really want to know about this company, this is a friendly way to get the information. It's a brochure. That's all it is. And it's got all the information from an investor's point of view about this company. Real easy to read. Nice layouts. So if you want to get into this, you can find this. And which one was that? That was the 8K on May 31st. All right, let's jump on into that news. Now, the company's got a lot of news over here. Most of it is medical. You know, they're moving their products through phase trials. They're getting universities to look at it. They've got a lot of different things they're working on. But I want to focus in on the catalyst. Oh, oh, look what I just saw. I didn't see this before. Clinical data on human placenta derived, unmodified, blah, blah, blah. It's human placenta. I told you I wasn't curious. I did not need to know. Back to the catalyst. We had a piece of news come out just a little over a month ago. Cellularity expects a $60 million to $80 million purchase in 2023 for the biomaterial products in Saudi Arabia. Bulk placenta. Then at the end of the month, we get about half of that order. Cellularity announces $45 million purchase order. First Middle East private label agreement for Cellularity's halal certified biomaterial product. It is the placenta. So basically, they've gotten half of it. We've got more coming. Now, think about this. You're looking at a company that did $17 million all last year. They're doing three to four million dollars every quarter. That's like a million dollars a month. Now they just had a deal for $45 million. That's why the stock is still moving. And it isn't a good spot on the chart. Let's go take a look at that. As we always do, we're going to do our charting on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. I got it when I signed up with TD Ameritrade. And that was free too. So all in all, I'm a happy camper. So we are looking at Cellularity Inc. This is ticker CELU. And of course, we're starting off with a six-month, four-hour view. Six months ago, we had a high of $2.64, then a very long, drawn-out fall to mid-May where we hit $0.40. Cents. Now, she bounced off of this bubble because of the news press that came out of that $60 to $80 million purchase from Saudi Arabia. That got her running, changed her trend, put her over the 50, over the 200. But she had some help here, huge run. Another piece of news came out that their placenta could possibly be helping people with Crohn's disease. Now, that was a nice run, going from $0.57 cents to about $1.09, almost 100%. She came back down. She's bounced off of the 50 here, but she came under the 50 and the 200 here, but now she's gone right back to climbing, nice and easy on her nine-day SMA, and she's on top of everything right now. Looks to me that the volume is increasing right now, and all of our osculators, PPO, MACD, RSI are all pushing up. Everything is looking good on the four-hour chart. Our 20-day, one-hour view. Well, we got a steady incline here. Our 200 came down here and turned right there, and she is slowly climbing. We hit a low here of 47 cents and then a high of $1.09. She's bouncing off of that 200-day SMA, but pulling away now, only minding the 9-day SMA. All of our osculators are still pushing up, and our RSI is maintaining that 61. Five-day, five-minute view. Well, a few days ago, we were under the 200, hitting a low of 53 cents. She bounced off of that immediately, getting on top of all of her strong SMAs, and she's bouncing off of that 200-day SMA all the way up, and now it looks like she's going to graduate up to the 50-day SMA. Our osculators, they show right at this very moment she's coming down. As you can see, we had a pull down right there, but she is above everything. I'd be looking for the bounce. Now, they're doing lots of stuff. News could come out at any moment. Another purchase order could come in at any moment. We had the, that first piece of news come out at the beginning of the month, and before the month was even over, boom, there was that purchase order. So this could be a good time to consider this stock, but of course, do your own DD. They've got a lot of news. 
Our next penny stock comes from the major exchange, the New York Stock Exchange. This is Lumen Technologies, Inc., ticker L-U-M-N. Now, just for disclosure's sake, I am invested in this one for good reason actually good reasons. There's lots of things this company has just done. They have made deals with some of the biggest corporations in the world and they're making good revenues. That's why I'm invested. That's why I want to share this with you right now. So Lumen, she finished the day at $2.13 with almost 16.5% gains. So what does this company do? Well, I'll read this to you, but it really doesn't do them justice. It sounds more like an advertisement than a description. Lumen connects the world. We are dedicated to furthering human progress through technology by connecting people, data, and applications quickly, securely, and effortlessly. Everything we do at Lumen takes advantage of our network strength, from metro connectivity to long-haul data transport to our edge cloud security, and managed service capabilities. We meet our customers' needs today as they build for tomorrow. Right? Advertisement. You'll get more understanding of what they do when we take a look at their news. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Not bad. We've got over 100% jump with big numbers. We're going from about 21.5 million to almost 46 million shares sold today. Share structure for Lumen, it's pretty high. Outstanding share count is one billion. And because I am invested in this, I went and looked up the float. I tried to find it. It appears to be 990 million shares, just that much under a billion. So it is awfully high. Financials, speaking of awfully high, these are huge numbers in their revenues. This is why they put three zeros up there in the corner. Imagine all those zeros down here. They'd be tough to read. So at the end of 2022, this company did $17.5 billion worth of business. Now granted, they have been falling since 2019 when they were at 21. Every year was a little less than the year before. But they're getting to keep a lot of this. They got to keep $9.6 billion of that money. Looking at their quarterly, We've got their most recent financial just came out. It is lower than most. It is at $3.7 billion, which means they're doing like what? $1.2 billion a month. Now, just out of curiosity, I have got to look at this balance sheet. See what we got here for total assets, $45 billion. Now, we know that's billions because we got to add those three zeros here as well. Total liabilities, $35 billion. So they are up 10 billion. And of that 10 billion, 1.2 billion is in the bank in cash. Probably not one bank, but they got $1.2 billion. Looking at our disclosures, we've got 18K here that came out recently. This has to do with a stockholder meeting. And then we have a whole bunch of Form 4s. Form 4s are filed whenever insiders buy or sell shares of the stock. Well, not necessarily buy or sell get or get rid of and they got a whole bunch of shares here i don't know if they were in lieu of payment or some sort of reward for something i really don't know but nobody bought any shares here but everybody did get shares all right let's jump on over to that news now because that's where all the catalysts are at now the funny thing here is is that i have not seen any news on this page since i've been here every once in a while something pops up but most of the time it comes up like that blank and there is lots of news big news but i don't just let all my research end here i will go out and look further so i found three pieces of news all recent that i'm going to share with you right now this one came out june 5th lumen unleashes ultra fast quantum fiber internet market expansions connect hundreds of thousands of residents and small businesses Super fast internet service is now available to thousands more families and businesses as Quantum Fiber, a Lumen technology brand, unleashes gig and multi-gig speed internet in 18 cities. And maybe your city is one of them. They're listed right there. By combining a blazing fast fiber internet product with a frictionless 100% digital platform, Quantum Fiber Internet is building a world-class brand meeting customer demands by delivering amazing connectivity with a unique in-home experience, including 
whole home Wi-Fi and simplified installation. That's number one. Now, the big news. Number two, Lumen collaborates with Microsoft to bring savings and simplicity to customers. Operator Connect, a lead indicator of benefits to keep coming from two powerhouses. Lumen Technologies has announced the upcoming launch of their Operator Connect for Microsoft Teams phone offering, part of Lumen and Microsoft's growing collaboration. Now, I'm not real sure what this is. I was trying to get information here. They keep talking about this helps Microsoft Teams. Well, I'm not a Microsoft team. I'm not in the know. But they are working with Microsoft and say this is a big deal. This is going to help their customers know what they need and how to use it much more simply. But the news gets even bigger. Yes, it does. Look at this. This came out June 12th. Lumen, Google, and Microsoft create new on-demand optical interconnection ecosystem. Lumen Technologies today announced a new network interconnection ecosystem called ExaSwitch, created in collaboration with Google and Microsoft. This platform empowers organizations with high bandwidth needs to route their traffic dynamically and quickly between networks and without third-party intervention. Large network backbones no longer need a physical location to connect. Instead, optical switching will be used to establish high capacity optical links between metro sites. The Exit Switch project was created by the initial participants to route traffic between large internet and cloud networks. Early adopters include, and all of this is in the same sentence, Lumen, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and an additional large cloud provider. Folks, Lumen is now hobnobbing with Microsoft and Google. She's in partnership with them. She's collaborating with technology, and all of their businesses are going to be melding together. I like what I see here. I think this is a good stock to invest in. She is now with companies that are growing, so she should grow right along with them. And the charts have been growing too. I got into this just a few days ago. She did hit my first target today. She came down off of it. I'm expecting some more growth. Let's go take a look at that chart. That is a six month, four hour review for Lumen Technologies, ticker L U M N. We got a high bubble six months ago of $8.32. Then we had an exaggerated fall over an exaggerated period of time to just a few days ago when we hit a low of $1.74. Now you can see this is another one of those atypical breakout charts. 200 day SMA coming down, finally leveling off, and the price trying to break through. Now she tried to do this before. It looked like she was gonna level out right there. So she gave it the good heave ho, but it was too steep. She slipped and fell. But right now, that is not the case. It is getting pretty flat. She bounced off of this low bubble, getting up over that 50 day, and then she took a bounce today, running all the way from $1.92 up to $2.22. She broke my strong support. The reason I call that my strong support, you can see everything was sitting on top of this all the way across and she almost tagged it right there. She did break through it and I was thinking about getting out but then I realized the 200 is just on the other side of the line. That's the real bonus. That's the real breakout. This is the pre-breakout before the real breakout. Osculators are very strong right now. Our PPO, percentage price oscillator, and MACD are running uphill. Lots of green bars accumulating on the MACD. RSI is in overbought right now at 71. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view. This was the chart that actually caught my attention to get into this stock. Right here is when I started looking at her. She was just coming through the 50-day SMA, when she broke it, I bought in right there. And then this morning, I saw she was breaking that 200, and I doubled up right there. And then she broke my support, and I thought about getting out, and then I saw that 200, so I am still sitting there on $2.13 with all my holdings, expecting her to continue. And the oscillators are in full agreement. Every single one of them pushing to the moon and on fire. I'm loving it. Five day, five minute chart. So she was pretty much going sideways here. She tried to get over the 200 here without any luck. 
right there we got our luck she bounced off of it and then today she launched going like i said from about a dollar 86 clear up to two dollars and 22 cents came down bounced on this uh strong support of 213 and it looks like we've got aftermarket activity i wasn't aware of looks like our price may be closer to 215 216 i'm liking that she's getting closer and closer to that 200 day sma on the four hour chart when she gets over that i'm expecting a launch here's our 200 day sma pushing up oscillators right now have all cooled down she dipped right here coming underneath the 20 coming underneath the 50 now she's gotten back on top of both of them but all that pressure pulled down all of our oscillators so everything is cool right now but i'm not expecting that to last for long l-u-m-n it does belong on your watch list folks she's making billions of dollars and she's making friends that got a lot of influence we got one more stock to focus in on before we take a look at those hot charts this is kscp nightscope inc this is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. Now, I like to chart with this company. It's not hot. It's warm. It is ready for a breakout, but it's in its early stages right now. But I like what I see because the company has so much news constantly coming out. They let us know every deal that they make, and they're constantly making deals. So I think we're looking at this at the right point, and it's just going to start climbing, and we're going to see the pre-breakout and the breakout breakout. So, KSCP, she finished the day today at 47.5 cents with almost 8.5% gains. So, what is this company all about? Robots. Nightscope is an advanced public safety technology company that builds fully autonomous security robots and blue light emergency communication systems that help protect the places people live, work, study, and visit at. Nightscope's long-term ambition is to make the United States of America the safest country in the world. Look out, AITX, you got competition. So what was the relative volume around the company today? More than 100%, going from just a little over a million to almost 2.5 million. Share structure on KSCP. Outstanding share count is only 43 million. I did not look up the float, but we know it's less than 43 million, which isn't bad. Financials for Nightscope. All right, she has been increasing her revenues little by little, starting here at 3 million in 2019, at 5.6 million at the end of 2022. But as you can see, they're losing money here. We don't like to see that. Quarterly, again, they are making more and more revenues, and finally we see that they are losing less money rather than more. Let's take a look at that balance sheet, see what's going on over there. Total assets for Nightscope, they got $22 million. Total liabilities, ah, startup company, $29 million. So they got $7 million more liabilities than assets. But they do have $4.8 million in the bank. So they're not exactly poor. Looking at her disclosures, I did go through these. There wasn't anything really relevant there that I thought we should take a look at. So let's jump on over to that news. Now they've got lots of news and we really don't need to jump into any of it. The headlines tell you everything you need to know. We're busy, busy, busy. Nightscope K5 now patrolling another California storage facility. Nightscope gets two contracts for autonomous security robots. I like this one. Nightscope fulfills million dollar contract within 30 days of landing second million dollar contract. Woohoo! Texas State University signs contract for 13 emergency communication devices. Texas Southern University places a half a million dollar order with Nightscape. Their newest customer is a 100 year old candy company. Maybe Hershey's? Hmm. Two night scope contracts in Southern California and Chicago. And night scopes receives contracts for three robots. That's what I'm talking about. Blip, 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 blip. And look, that is just last month and up to now. They constantly put out news. The charts are getting set up. Oh, you haven't seen them yet? Let me go show you. So this is our pre-breakout chart for KSCP Nightscope, six-month, four-hour view. 
Our $3.65 high hit in November, and since then, she has been falling. Hit a low here of $0.36 cents at the end of May. As you can see, it's another atypical chart with the breakout about ready to happen right there. Bouncing off of this low bubble, she got up on top of that 50, took a little bit of time, got her footing, and now she's pushing. It is early stages, but the 200 is right there next to her. And this company is constantly putting out news. All it's going to take is for that golden cross to be set up and a piece of news come out, any old piece of news, and people who play golden crosses are going to say, there's my catalyst, and this thing is probably going to run. Volume is thick all the time, so we don't have to worry about that. Our oscillators, we got a nice push away right now on our PPO and our MACD. And look at those green bars accumulating. Our RSI has fallen back, and right now she's at 59. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view. So our high is up here at just about 59 cents. Hit a low of 36 cents. Bounced off that low up onto the 200, but she's slipping. She's sliding down and she can't exactly push away from it because it's coming downhill. But now that it's getting flat, see how flat it is here? Now she's starting to jump, floating on her nine day SMA. Osculators are outstanding. MACD and PPO are pushing up, and our RSI is pulling back right now. But you can see the aftermarket activity right there is on top of the nine. Coming down to our five day, five minute view. So she's been hanging on to that 200 all over the place, up and down, way down here, 41 cents. And she bounced off of that, getting her high today of about 51 cents. She did pull back, breaking that 50, did not touch the 200, which is important. She did come down to it, but she did not touch it. She started climbing on her own strength. She didn't have to push off the 200. So this is a good sign. And let's see, where is that price right now? She is at 47.97. So she is a little bit above where she closed. Our 200-day SMA is pushing up. Osculators are weak. All of them are weak except the MACD. It is pushing up. We do have green bars accumulating. And our RSI is at a very <laughs> cool 50. 55 is as cool as I like to see that get. But I like KSCP because of the constant flow of news. And I think we're here at the perfect time. But do your own DD. I'm not here to make your decision. Just to show you choices. So as not to block your view, I've taken myself out of the picture. Got to be one of your favorite times in the show. <laughs> it is mine because I like sharing these hot charts with you. Now understand, folks, these charts I've done no due diligence on. I don't know anything about them. But then I didn't know anything about the nine we looked at yesterday. And six out of those nine took gains today. So who knows what can happen here? Due diligence can't hurt, though. And by the way, I thought I had nine. I've only got eight. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> First one we're looking at here is ticker HNST. This is Honest Company. You can see she is breaking out right now. She is going up over that 200. Volume is very thick. I like to see the volume. That is primary. But the most important thing are our oscillators. You do want to see everything pushing up. You want to see a lot of heat down there. This is looking good. Our next chart is FUBO, ticker F-U-B-O. It has already broke out with a lot of volume. She came down, she had a bounce, she is starting to climb, and here is your 50-day coming up and around. This is looking sweet, folks, and our osculators. This is a Houston launch, if ever I saw one. Looking good. Third chart we have is CAVAR. Ticker C-A-V-R. You can see the volume has gotten very strong. It's been building up. Here comes our 50-day SMA. It is way under the 200, but she's already started the launch. She's on top of her 200 right now, and all of our oscillators look like a volcano erupting. They are all shooting straight up. Our next one is Fern. This is ticker F-E-R-N, another atypical breakout chart. We are right up underneath the 200, but we are on top of the 50. These are prime. These are the ones I really like. Underneath the 50, there's some guesstimation going on. But when you finally worked up on top of the 50 and are staying there, the likelihood of breaking that 200 is strong. 
Our oscillators, our PPR and our MACD are going up and our RSI is just about ready to hit the overbought. Looking nice. We now look at BEAT, ticker B-E-A-T. We've got a strong turn down on our 200 day SMA and she's just now starting to flatten out. We have had a nice roll up with our price and look at our 50 day SMA. We have a golden cross about ready to occur. This is when you want to watch tomorrow. Like I said, people scan for golden crosses. Our oscillators are all looking sweet. Everything is climbing. Everything is red. We have ERPNF next. She is breaking out right now. She got up over the top of that 50 and beelined to and through the 200, riding on that nine day SMA. And look at our oscillators, no denying that all of them are on fire right now. Number seven is Buru, ticker B U R U, another sweet atypical chart. Here was our first shot through the 200s, which tells us I'm going to make an attempt when this gets flat. I love seeing these one big jumps up and then they come right back down, losing no strength. They just get back in line. Then when it gets close, told you so, and it takes off. Oscillators are looking as sweet as the price. Everything is gliding up. Last one we have here for you is Heisen, ticker H-Y-Z-N. Yes, it is another atypical breakout stock. She's cracked her head on this once. It was a little too steep. She came down, not losing any strength, coming right back to where she bounced from. And now she's launching again on top of the 50, right up underneath the 200. A sweet spot on the charts. And the second and third taps on the 200 are normally when they get through. So I'd be watching Heisen too. And our oscillators, everything is just about ready to have a crossover. Look at these same designs we got all the way down. I like the setup here. Heisen, it's catching my curiosity. Now there's a bucket load of stocks for you. Three of them we focused in on. I like those three, especially Lumen because I'm invested in it. But I think all three have got nice chart setups and strong catalysts. Now those eight hot charts, I don't know anything about them and I'm not going to go look. I was very impressed yesterday when I just pulled nine hot charts off of the scans and showed them to you without knowing anything and six of them took gains. <laughs> Come on. Of course, due diligence shouldn't be neglected, but it is impressive to see how hot charts can make all the difference in the world. Remember folks, we covered a lot of stocks. There is a lot to know. Don't be afraid to do some due diligence. Just pick a couple. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.